Okay, so these are going to be hip internal rotation, peos and reos. We're going to perform isometrics in a 90-90 position. For the hip internal rotation position, we're gonna first align our belly button with the back knee. Once we get here, you're gonna feel a stretch deep inside your hip. Once you do, hold the stretch for the prescribed amount of time. In this program, it should be about two minutes. Then we're going to perform our contractions. The peos contractions, the first one, is gonna be you pushing this ankle against the floor, almost like you're trying to break the floor. Now, you're not gonna go from zero to 100, you're gonna ramp up the intensity of the, the contraction. So you're gonna go 30%, 40%, 50%, all the way up until you get to 100% squeezing against the floor. And then the raised contraction, you're gonna snap into the opposite and try to lift that foot off the floor without losing the stretch of your belly button. So if I were to not have the belly button stretched, it would look like a lift off, it would look like this. But since my belly button is aligned with my back knee, it becomes impossible for me to lift this ankle up off the floor, which is the whole goal of the exercise in the first place. And so just to review, align belly button with back knee, stretch by bringing yourself forward or more rotated, pales contraction pushing down, rails contraction pushing up.